Hey there, my name's Josh. Welcome back to Storytime. Hope you're excited. I always am. We're about to be reading some Blaze and the Monster Machines. The story is called Bouncy Tires. And let's delve into it. Blaze and the Monster Machine stories are always so much fun. And they always have really good lessons and they teach very well and then they have good messages. So, let's delve into it. Let's have an exciting little adventure for story time and find out what Blaze and the Monster Machines are up to this time. Bouncy Tires, based on the teleplay Bouncy Tires by Kevin Del Aguila, or Aguila, illustrated by Ben Birch. Alrighty. One morning at the Axel City Garage, Blaze and AJ were helping their friend Gabby unload a shipment of tires. They're silly tires, Gabby explained with a giggle. There you are. There's Blaze, AJ, and Gabby there. Inside the crates were dancing tires, stinky tires, and even feathery chicken tires. Clucked the tires as they rolled away. <laughs> Blaze and AJ saw Zeg trying to drive down the street. He was having a hard time because his tires had big holes in them. Blaze pulled out his towing hook. Hang on, he said. I'll give you a tow. That's no good. You can't have holes in your tires because then all the air will escape. Have you ever had that done on, have you ever had that on a bicycle? When you have no air in the tires, it makes it a lot harder to move. Suddenly, a crate wiggled and jiggled and then burst open. Boing, boing, four bright green silly tires bounced out. Funny tires go up and down, the dinosaur truck laughed. Zeg like, Zeg want those tires. Zeg put on the tires and started bouncing. Blaze, AJ. We have a problem, said Gabby. Those tires are the silliest tires of all. They're super bouncy tires. Once they start bouncing, they don't stop. Uh-oh, Zeg might be in trouble. He might not be able to stop bouncing. Look at him over there, he's bouncing away. Okay, tires, said Zeg, no more bouncing. But the tires didn't stop. Zeg bounced out of the garage and straight into traffic. Don't worry, Gabby, said Blaze. We'll find a way to stop those bouncy tires. If we're going to catch Zeg, said AJ, we need to use blazing speed. Blaze revved his engine, popped his boosters, and vroom, took off to save his friend. Oh no, Zeg's bouncing down the street there, can you see? I know how we can save Zeg, said Blaze. Let's make those bouncy tires stick to the road. We use adhesion. Adhesion is when two things stick together. Like glue. Glue is adhesive. And adhesive. Blaze unrolled a piece of tape and stuck it right in Zeg's path. Zeg landed on the tape, but he bounced off again. So that wasn't even sticky enough. It bounced him right off. Next time, we try Next time we try adhesion, we need something even stickier, AJ said. Zeg kept bouncing straight towards a building. Uh-oh, said Blaze. That's the egg warehouse. Zeg crashed through the warehouse, knocking over crates and baskets. Sorry, coming through, he yelled. The bouncy tires hit a red button. A crane turned and picked up a huge egg. Oh no, cried a worker truck. He just turned on the giant egg dropper. So he's bounced on, he's turned on the egg dropper. Uh oh, where's he gonna bounce to now? The crane was going to drop the egg, so Blaze raced as fast as he could to save it. He ducked under conveyor belts and weaved past fallen crates and baskets. When the egg dropped, Blaze reached out and caught it, just in time. Well done, Blaze. Well done, buddy. Good job. 
Blaze had saved the giant egg, but he still had to save Zeg. That was a little rhyme. We can use adhesion again to stop those tires. Maybe this is sticky enough to work. Do you remember what adhesion is? Say it. Say it for me over there. Adhesion is when two things stick together. That's right. AJ grabbed a bottle and squeezed out a puddle of glue. Here we go. Hopefully the glue was sticky enough. Zeg landed in the glue. The goo splattered all over the tires and slowed Zeg down. But then he sprang up and up and up until snap, he broke free. Just like the tape, the glue couldn't stop his bouncing. We're gonna need something even stickier, said AJ. Look, that's him bouncing and up, 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 and then he bursts away from the, even the glue stickiness. Oh no, groaned Zeg. The super bouncy tires were taking him straight towards a bakery. And a beautiful frosted cake. Somebody stop him, cried the baker. Look, the baker's all anxious over there. This egg's about to crush the cake. I've got an idea, said Blaze. What if we use quick dry cement? That's the super stickiest thing I can think of. Blaze put together a spiral mixing blade, a rotating drum, and a discharge chute, transforming himself into a cement mixer. Whoa. The sticky cement is mixed and ready to, ready to pour, called AJ. Blaze tipped the discharge, discharge chute. Cement flowed out in a goopy grey puddle. That's him. There's a, there's a cement mixer over on this page. And then him pouring out the cement onto the road. Let's see if this can, this can stop Zeg. I hope so. Well, it looks like it might, but let's find out how. Zeg plunged into the puddle. Cement flew up. But Zeg stayed down. The cement was so sticky that Zeg couldn't bounce out. Adhesion worked, AJ cheered. Zeg thanked Blaze and AJ, the dinosaur truck said with a smile. You're welcome, big fella, said Blaze. Now what do you say we get you a different set of tires? The dinosaur truck nodded. Zeg liked that idea, Zeg like. That Zeg stuck. You reckon you should get another set of bouncy tires? No, just joking. Back at the garage, Gabby replaced the bouncy tires with regular tires. How do they feel? She asked. Wee! Zeg shouted as he cruised around the garage. No bouncing! Blaze and AJ laughed, glad their friend was safely back on the ground. Them all laughing and having fun, yeah? Well done, Blaze and the Monster Machines. Well, it was just Blaze, AJ, and Gabby that saved the day today. Poor Zeg. He was in a bit of trouble, bouncing everywhere. You don't want that. Alright. Well, that's another fun story done. Let's see what we're going to be reading next. It looks like Frozen. Do you know Frozen? I love Frozen. I'm excited to read this one. Well, I'll see you then. Thank you so much for joining me today for story time. Hope you enjoyed the book. And uh, we'll be back again soon. Okay. Bye for now, but not for long. Stay happy, stay positive, and have fun. All right. And if you like these stories, click on that bell and subscribe, and we'll be able to read stories all the time together. Okay. Bye for now.